Hey everyone, welcome back to Fishing with Nordby. I'm up, it's early, I'm excited to share with you guys what I'm doing today. So I got up a little earlier, I'm cooking some breakfast. It's before daylight, it's 6 a.m. But today we're gonna go catch crappie through the ice. I'm gonna show you guys what I do, uh, the best way to do it. We're gonna be using some minnows and wax worms. And the best time to do it is the first hour of daylight. At least here where I'm at, we're going to my home lake. I'll share with you when we get there. But we'll see you out there on the hard water. Alright, we just got out here to Mazingo. I've been drilling some holes. I haven't started the camera. I didn't want to bore you guys. You've seen it in my last videos. But I did want to share something new with you guys. When you're looking for spots on clear ice that you can see through, if you're in an area you know there's some brush piles and you see some dead shad frozen in the ice, chances are crop of your feet and right under those. I got two dead shad right next to each other. Here's one of them. And I'm gonna drill a hole right next to those dead shad because a lot of times those crappie will school up the edge of the brush or the drop in the on the channel and you'll catch some fish right there. We're gonna put a minnow on, we're gonna go try the holes I just drilled, then we'll set the hut up wherever we catch a crappie or two. Oh, it's frozen on. Woohoo! You know what? That is warmer than the air. Not by much. It's seven degrees out this morning. All I got on my minnow rig is just a little minnow hook and a split shot. That's all you need, folks. Just go to Walmart and get you, get you this little setup and you'll be good to go. Oh, dude, the minnow's already frozen. No. All right, nothing at this hole. Gave it about 30 seconds to a minute. Gonna go try the next hole. Cannot wait to get that hut set up. Next hole. Let's go try these ones where the shad were. There he is. Oh, slab. Oh, slab, daddy. Yeah. Right there where I saw the shad underneath the ice. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, let's set the hut up, folks. We got slab daddy number one for the day. All right, like I said, if you see shad under the ice, I don't know if you guys can see that because I drilled, but there's a shad right under there. Yeah, and that's where these crappie are. That is a good one right there. All right, let's get our limits of those and call it a day because it's cold. Just got set up in the hut. Still a little cold in here. See my breath, but the heater's going. We're going to drop down, catch some more big crappie. Uh, this is the hole by where the shad were, and I just caught that slab daddy. Oh, yeah. Look at the juice. The juice is here. There you go. Woo, baby. Maybe Look at the slouch. Not really. This is a dink. <laughs> Ooh. Look at that bend. There's a okay, crappie. There you go. There we go. One on the minnow, one on the waxy. We got both rods down. Oh, I just got a bite on the oh, minnow. You got a bite. Give me that. Oh, oh slouch on the minnow. I got it, I got it. Oh shoot, oh. you're up in the crotch. Oh yeah! Oh. <laughs> That's why you use minnows, baby! <laughs> oh. Wow, look at that. The little bitty crappie ate the oh wax gosh. worm. The big crappie ate the minnow. What a good fish. Another 12 incher. That first one I caught was about 14. Woo! Getting out another minnow, needless to say, and putting away the waxies. Putting away the waxies. That was too much commotion for me. I really don't want to put the wax worm back down because I don't want to catch gillies right now. So I'm going to stick with the minnow. Oh, he stole my wax He's worm over right there now. getting bit on the waxy oh, yeah. every second. We're going to catch some crappie today. It's okay. I'll catch the biggest crappie on a wax worm. That's usually what happens. Not today. You did last time. Yeah. Oh, dude, you better get him. Yeah. Minnow. We get, we're hooked up. You got a good one? I think my drag is... Oh, I've got another fish, yo. Oh, dude, get oh, this one out. Get it, get it. Oh, oh, I've got a giant on this one. Oh, my gosh. Really? No, he came off. Oh. Dude, you just caught a slab oh, on that one. Was that two slabs? You just caught a slab. Slab of sorts, right? Dude, that sucks. 
Did you see that? Yeah. That's a good one right there. Dude. Oh, my other one. Oh, man. Dude, that's 11 inch here. There we go, baby. Yeah. Woo! We just got started. We got four slabs in our bucket. Just giant. All right. Fur on, mate. We're good. Fur on. Fur on. Fur on. Get your fur on. <laughs> All right. Want me to for all, maybe. Well, guys, it's slowed down. We're gonna go try to find some more fish. I'm gonna drill a few more holes. See if we can find where these crappie went. After daylight, they moved out of our spot. Find these crappie. It's all right with a bass. I'm all right with that. Grab my minnow so we don't freeze and go ice skating. All right, back at it. There he is, Slab Daddy, baby. It's another bass. Another bass. All right. Well, come here. That's a good one. Good two pounder. Ah, pound and a half. Oh my gosh, he is cold and doesn't know how to quit flopping. There we go. Pound and a half, look at that. Two bass in a row. Brush pile. Another one, another one. I found the bass, Nathan. Oh, he, he got off. Oh, that was a bigger one. And he got my minnow. me a minnow please oh, man. I know I could come in there there's got to be a crappie Whew, that was so cold all right drop her back down got him another bass <laughs> That's awesome. That's three bass and one got off. Oh, can't always catch the crappie, but I'm a bass fisherman. So that's awesome for me right there. I would much rather catch bass through the ice. See buddy, before you freeze. All right guys, caught three bass out of the hole. One got off, would have been a bigger one course the one that gets away is always bigger but crappie video we're gonna go for some crappie there he is crappie yep the shallow spot oh guys not a bad little one gonna go put him in the hut we moved the hut over a little bit gonna drop the waxy down first because my minnow's frozen as well as my hands Oh, there we go. On the waxy. Copy, oh, baby. Wow, there you go. Copy, baby. Move to the good spot right Told there. You the juice was a foot to the right. All right. You were right. Moved over a little bit. Caught another copy. It's a good start. Good start to the new spot. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what we got? Oh, sorry, Kim. Slab Daddy, baby. Oh, oh you he came off in the, the butt. Dude. No, he came off in the <laughs> oh, hole. Oh, did you? He came off in the hole, and I caught him with my second hook. Oh my gosh! Because he bit that top one. Dude, that's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. There we go. That's a good one. We'll take those. Oh yeah. Not bad. There he is. There he is. Oh, that's a good one. It's a slouch. Oh my gosh, he's heavy. Slouch. Oh, go down there? Oh, it could be a bass. Oh. Oh, he's pulling drag. Here he comes. Oh, it's a bass. Oh. Yeah, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Look at that. Slaunch bass. Man, Just I thought a, that was a crappie. Such a pretty fish, dude. Oh, beautiful in the wintertime. I thought that was a crappie. I did too. I thought I had a 15 or 16 inch crappie on there. Oh, man. I hooked him good. That is a good one. 
Beautiful. Beautiful fish. See, buddy. Letting you go. Bye-bye. Oh. That's the fourth bass of the day. Catch and release on those bass. Yeah, that's a nice bass. It's so warm. I almost wore oh, that. Good, yeah. good gilly. Oh, it's oh, a crappie. Oh, there you go. He bit the top one. Dude, they must be in that hole, man. Another crappie on the wax worm. Not bad. Not bad. Man, he's looking he's like crazy. Or fighting. Whoa. I said he's farting, but I meant to say he's fighting. He's farting. <laughs> that crappie's farting, guys. Milky, milky mine. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Milky. The crappie is farting. <laughs> Fur on. Fur on, baby. Get it. Dinkosaurus Rex, baby. Look at this dink. Oh, my. Crappie, baby. On the minnow. Yeah. yeah. Woohoo. That's how you catch him right there. I jigged it a little bit and moved it up. And he smoked it. Right. There he is. Hey. On the big minnow. Oh, slime. Oh, oh, get him. Oh, oh baby. Black, big old black oh, 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 oh. crappie. Wow. Dude. God. Look at this spot on his lip. That's so cool. Oh, my God. He's dude. got a big old spot on his lip. Look at that. Oh, dude, that's awesome. That, yeah, it's one of those. Black uh, nose crappie? Is that a black nose crappie? I don't know if it works like that. but I think Black nose like crappie normally have... A spot like that on the top of their lip. This is a black crappie, but he's got a black spot on the bottom lip. Huh. I'll have to look that up. That's a slaunch. There we go. Alright guys, there you go. Uh, a few of our good ones from this morning. Like I said, the bite's kind of dying off. It only lasts about an hour. Um, we caught most of them on minnows. Caught a few on wax worms. They eat both. But the crappie were suspended up off the bottom. The bluegill tucked tighter to the bottom like you've probably seen. Uh, in my other videos but thank you for watching that's how we catch our crappie and i hope you enjoyed it see us next time on fishing with nordby <laughs> dude i thought you were gonna eat it